Hi guys, welcome to your July 2021. This is gonna be the you versus them reading for the beautiful sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. If you are new here with me, hello, hello. If you are returning, welcome back. If you're subscribed to the tribe and what's good, fam, bam. So hello to my members and my patrons. I have just went in and edited all of the videos that are up. They are in, they normally are in order of the Western Zodiac, but because of um, my recent schedule and now that I'm back closing our month out with these messages, um, I wanted to go in. So now the upload schedule is there. I did uh, drop Leo first because it is Leo season. And so Leo is first and I kind of went out of order. So af after um, I did that, the order is up. No, um, no certain, um, no voting on the you versus them. You guys already know. And I may start just doing them randomly too, just sticking all of the Zodiac signs in um, random. Therefore, you'll have one series where you vote and one series where you don't vote uh, because I want everybody to feel like they're first. So I may start doing that if it doesn't cause too much energy or too much more work for myself. Um, thank you so much for being patient with me while I laid that out. This is the you versus them. This is going to be for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Gemini, we are going to be representing Gem. Gemini, masculine energy with blue in main energy. And we're going to be representing the color that's going to be representing the masculine clarifying energy is blue as well. And on the Gemini feminine side, you're going to be represented with gold. Okay. And the color that's going to be representing your clarifying energy is pink. If I do need to go in for any additional clarifiers that will be done with the sacred soulmates deck, everything that you need about these cards are below in the description box. Let's rock. If you need anything as far as connecting with me, anything resonates, you feel like you want a personal reading, please go ahead and drop below in the description box, returning clients and new clients. There is a sale from now until September 30th. And if you are interested in a life coaching session with me, um, while I work on my certification, please go on my website and get uh, fill out the life coaching inquiry, inquiry form and I will get back to you with the details. OK, let's get started. First and foremost, what I have noticed in this particular energy is the masculine energy is and currently in an energy of a five of cups. There is something that has went down between you, Gemini's. Um, you and your masculine. And it's interesting that I have been reading all of these videos that have been coming up for every Zodiac sign and the masculines are just getting their butts kicked. Like what is going on collectively? Um, I know that there's been a huge shift in the energy and that's beautiful, but like feminines have been kicking butt and taking names like my goodness. And it's looking like this is the exact same type of situation. So masculine energy right now is in the energy of five of cups. There is sadness. Okay. Um, this is, of course, you hear a lot crying over, uh, over spilled milk, but there's a lot of regrets here. There's a lot of feelings with this. This is about loss at the end of the day. You know, letting go of hope, like giving up the, 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 the chance to win, feeling like you can't win for losing. OK, and the top of the deck energy is I feel so drawn to you. So um, although there clearly is some type of breakup, some type of loss, some type of disagreement between you guys, Gemini. Um, Gemini masculines is still feeling like, you know, they can't win for losing. They don't want to, they, they don't want to give up hope. They do feel like they're crying over spilled milk, feeling a lot of regrets that of things or about things that has happened between you two. The Gemini feminines on the other side is in the energy of a three of cups. So my goodness, that's definitely a change. This is about friendship. This is about kicking it. This is what you guys do best gems in your element. You connecting, you celebrating, you kicking it with your friends. Um, you are getting it in, you know, you're getting together with people who you, you know, you like, this is camaraderie sharing. This is doing you. And right now, this is the energy that you're in and how you feel is, is I wish I can take back my words. So, I mean, I feel that, yes, obviously, if masculines are sad, obviously, if they're in the energy of feeling drawn to you and you feminines, on the other hand, are doing you and kicking it with your friends and going out 
and not being bothered, but you wish you could take back your words. Obviously, there are some things that have been said. Let's go ahead and go back to our masculine side and find out what took place. What is the energy that is behind you that you could that could give us some some type of um, clue as to what has happened? So at the bottom of the deck for a masculine energy, we are looking here at a nine of pentacles, a nine of pentacles. This is the single man card, single lady card. This is doing you as well. This is putting yourself first. This is, you know, enjoying, you know, everything that I have built and created for myself, you know, taking a look at everything and like, you know what, I kind of like this. This is, you know, Walking in through and 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 uh, this is a uh, nines are about attainment, but this is is walking through your garden and what you created. So masculines in the past maybe have came all feminines in the way where they were like their way or the highway, like they really did come off that way. But this is also the hermit. So maybe you felt like they were selfish, maybe because you know hermit energy withdraws. It kind of goes into a very introverted stage, but it's going into that stage because it's searching for something. Um, and I believe um, this is needing to be alone. So it looks like in the past, you guys have definitely not necessarily been on the same page. Masculines, you probably in the past needed to break away to find yourself, find answers. But I think the way the feminine took that is that you just were not interested in a relationship. Um, aha, you need security. You know who else came out with this? Um, this was um, in the Capricorn video. So it looks like you were afraid to open up. You needed security. Maybe there was something within the way that um, that the feminines carried his or her well, the, herself. Um, that kind of threw you off. Maybe you felt like, wow, you guys are really pointing the finger at one another. Let's get into it. So feminines, on the other hand, was actually looking for a commitment. So you had the nine of pentacles, masculine, but you kept those pentacles to yourself. You were, you were only interested in your own pentacle. But what feminine wanted with that king of pentacles was for you to give them the commitment and you didn't do that. OK. And when I'm looking at this is looking like, you know, you were more interested in withdrawing into yourself and kind of focus on getting that pinnacle. However, I think feminines expected you to give them the pinnacle, but you wanted to keep it to yourself. Ah, because they loved you unconditionally. Oh, and they wanted a commitment. And I don't think you guys were ready at the same time. Okay, well, this explains a lot. Let's go ahead and unpack our masculine energy first. Wow, gems, you guys are not playing. Please go ahead and take a look at the bottom um, in the description box and go over to channel two and watch your full moon in, Aquari in Aquarius reflection. And it is time stamped. All you have to do, gems, is go to that video. It is below. When you get over there, when it takes you to Marvelous Enlightenment Channel 2, please go ahead and like and, sh and subscribe while you're over there. But when you're in the video, just go down in the description and click Gemini and it's going to take you exactly where you are, where you need to be. OK, show me. OK. All right. All right. So guess what? They changed their mind. This is the fool. Yes. Masculines possibly wasn't there with you before. They were not trying to hear that before. Uh, maybe that's and, and now they're coming back and now they feel like they want to take a leap of faith. They need security. There's something here as to why they don't want to do that. Aha. Uh -huh. Now they're ready. This is the queen of cups. Also the empress. They're ready now. I think I'm ready now. I think I'm ready, ready for love. I know what to do. They ready. Okay. They ready. They ready. So they ain't got to get ready. They stay ready. Listen, they have a lot of love in their heart. I think they're leveling up, um, Jim, um, feminines. Masculines is ready to bring it. They're ready to put your love on top. They really like, this is what I'm feeling like. I'm, I'm feeling that Beyonce song, um, love on top. I was never really a fan of the song, but I did like the lyrics. I just didn't like that. Da, 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 da. I mean, it was catchy. It just wasn't my thing. 
<laughs> it was. I was just like, huh? But I I understand. And it did really beautiful lyrics, though. I just wish that maybe they would have given it another beat, but that's Mar. So I'm really feeling, finally, I'm ready to put your love on top. I may put that in the title. That's what I'm feeling. You guys go listen to that. They realize that you are the one. Come on, baby. It's you. Don't get me started. I'm not going to do that one. But I'm, I'm, I'm feeling that. Mm, 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 mm. Yeah, they're ready to put your love on top, feminines. Um, and then we do have the Seven of Pentacles. Guess what? That's also the star. So we got three major arcana and masculine energy. First of all, we got the Fool. Secondly, we have the Empress, the birth of something new, loving on you, already having this beautiful connection and this intimacy. And then we do have the Seven of Pentacles. I have been reassessing. I have been looking at everything. And that's probably why right now or what, what they were doing in the background. Was there a situation in the past where feminine, we'll get to you, but it feels like there was a situation in the past where you went to them, you loved them unconditionally already, and they were not ready. I've been getting that a lot in this reading all week. And I think it has a lot to do with this full moon that we just went through um, with the top of um, at, at the top of um, when the sun shifted into Leo, not to mention now Venus is in Virgo. Um, you know, now Jupiter has left Pisces and went back into Aquarius, which is still retrograde. So it looks like there's been a shift, okay? And it's going to get better, I promise you. But now that is definitely the star. Let me double check. I'm pretty sure it is the star. So they are trying to, they're, they're hopeful. They're hopeful that you understand, yes, and they want to heal from not making the right choice. They did not make the right choice in the past, and they're ready to put your love on top. Um, yes, yes, yes. They were deceptive with the top of the deck with the seven of, of, of swords and the chariot. You had, they got nothing but all majors. They are ready to go to the major leagues. Do you hear me? Like they are ready. And now instead of just pulling their energy back and telling you whatever, there was something that went on. So if it doesn't come out in, in feminine energy, I'm going to have to clarify, but I'm feeling like this two sevens, that was like, these choices that needed to be made and this card really illustrates it. Which way do I go? And instead of telling you that they needed security, as you saw, that they needed, you know, oh, gems, you know, I want to say that guys actually or masculines feel the same way. I was just watching a interview on one of those podcasts and they they're really feeling like, why do I have to give you my all? What type of security do I have? While you wait around and figure out whether I'm the one or not, I still, I'm, I'm all of these, every, every second counts. Like I'm still here, but you're treating me like I'm a throwaway. Like this is a, a, like this is a, a period of uh what is it? Like this is a trial period. And then when you don't get the answer you want, you get to just go and do you. And Honestly, I can kind of see that. I mean, I'm sure you guys are going to drop it like it's hot in the comments and let me know what really happened. But I'm I'm kind of feeling that like they're they have feelings, too. I mean, and they te they definitely don't know how to express those feelings the way that we do. Right. So hmm, this is what they're saying. And yes, they were deceptive. They didn't express the feelings the way that they needed to. They didn't engage you. They didn't tell you that I need some time. They didn't know how to tell you that. You took it wrong. They handled it wrong. And here we go. But this is the chariot. Now they know that they have the will power to move forward with you. And now they're not ready. To, they're, they're, they're ready to put your love on top. They needed that little time away. They needed to figure it out. All right. So they got the fool, the star, the empress and the chariot. OK, so that's ready. Steady. Are you ready? What's going on? They ready. Cold, fresh air. Feel the melody that's in the air. <laughs> Gemini, I never really sing in your videos. I'm down, take a look around. <laughs> you ain't having it. That's the eight of cups. Look at you, feminines. Oh, my God. I'm feeling like, however do you want me? Mm. Listen, you are in a completely different headspace right now. You are really trying. And, and let me say about this eight of cups, this isn't a breakup. You just trying to emotionally move forward. Like you feel like they did you wrong. That really with the way that you internalize how they played that 
you you're moving on. You want to move on. The, that cycle is over with. You know, you're trying to disentangle yourself. You really want to let go fit like, you know, you, you want to, of course, what we say, release things that no longer serve you. This that's the moon. Is that the moon? That's the moon. Here's the, the, the thing about that. Yeah, that's the moon. This is also major arcana for the moon. So, um, this is a Gemini video. I am definitely picking up on mutable energy, but there, I feel some Pisces in here as well. So you could be connecting. Obviously this is the Gemini masculines and feminines, but of course this can be a lot of mutable energy as well. Cause that is also major arcana for Pisces. And if we just move back over here for a second, we do have the energy of Uranus with the fool. We do have the energy of Uranus with the star. We do have Venus with this Empress card. We do have Cancer. I'm sorry, I haven't been pulling these out. Um, and this is this is the other the other zodiac signs that we have here. Okay, right off the bat, you're trying to release yourself from this Gemini feminines, um, and you're already in the Eight of of Cups. And then, of course, that is the Moon. The other half of that, what I was gonna say, is that your in, your 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 emotions are fluctuating. You can't just cut the person off because. You said it, your energy said it, you love them unconditionally. Now, just because you love them unconditionally don't mean you have to stay with them. So maybe that's what you're trying to justify. You're trying to exercise your right to do just that. Oh, I see Pisces. You guys are mirroring. Mm. How do you want me? Uh, mm -mm. How do you need me? Yes. You guys are mirroring. Let's get into it. Well, the first thing is we have it here. You go back and forth. One minute you love the person unconditionally and you want this back. You're very romantic feminines. You love this person. You do. But then in the other, on the other hand, you like, mm, no, I don't like the way this happened. I don't like the way that happened. So these two cards together, we have the, the ruler for cancer. Okay. And when I show you what both of you guys are mirroring on, then you're going to understand. I feel some cancer through, through you guys' chart too. Um, you're mirroring, but I haven't gotten there yet. You have the moon, which is the ruler of cancer, but the major arcana for Pisces. And then you have the knight of cups, which is who you are right now, but you're definitely holding back. But in this deck, I this is my Pisces card, okay? One fish swimming upstream, one fish swimming down. And if you put them together, that is hardcore Pisces energy, okay? Now, in that night energy, you're romantic. You are so romantic and you're so like you love Gemini masculine. But at the same time, you do not like the way they played the situation and you felt hurt by it. I don't see the hurt right here, but you there wasn't any communication. They kind of went within and left you hanging. You feel like they left you hanging high and dry. And you also have the seven of swords now as you know at the top of the masculine deck they have the seven of swords so you are mirroring each other's energy um so i think that masculine is ready again to put your love on top you feel like they left you high and dry you on the other hand and that and that deception is not really telling them and as you see there's a lot of mutable energy because although uh cancer is not a mutable sign it's cardinal there's still a choice to make and you're not being honest with them with the seven of swords with this is also being the cha the chariot. You're kind of acting in your own accord right now. And they're doing the same thing. Um, but I think with their seven of swords, they're just not telling you how they're feeling. And they didn't tell you how they felt once before to keep you guys from going through this whole um, fiasco. So you guys are mirroring, but you just are not mirroring in the exact same place and for the exact same thing. But you have some of the same energy. And what you have done at the top of the deck is cut your cut your emotions all feminines you are in the two of swords you purposely blocked out your emotions because again you don't want to feel this pain you feel like masculine masculines left you high and dry this is also hang man i think deep down inside you know darn well that you are going to take masculine back right now though 
you you really are going back and forth. You need some time to really lock that decision down, okay? Let's go into some clarifying energy for our masculine energy, please. Show me what's going on on this side. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I am waiting patiently, okay? They're not playing with you. What else do we have over here? We have, I have, oh, okay. This is, this is play flat out. I want to make amends, period. I want to make amends. Um, I want to make amends. Yep. I tried to let it go. I am not over you. I'm not, not over you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Oh, Gemini's. I have fun with you guys. They are not over you. Okay. Period. Bottom of the deck for them is the nine of cups. You're their wish, honeys. You are their wish. And yes, they did have a power struggle. They had a power struggle between doing them and coming towards you. Absolutely. I think they lock stock and barrel over here. They ready to put your love on top, period. Okay. You on the other hand, let's get your clarifying energy before we close you out with your clarifier. I mean, your bottom of the deck energy. Wow. I'm not, not over you. Not over you. What do we got for my feminine energy? Ooh, you are not telling the true feminists. You are still loving on them. Ooh, and you want them to make it easier for you by letting you go and they not going to do it. That's upsetting you. Your energy is popping and jumping. Oh, my goodness gracious. Look at you. I remember every detail of that day. Masculine. The feminines are feeling very guilty. Uh-huh. They look for you everywhere. You are in their energy. Well, they already admitted that they love you unconditionally. Okay. What else do we have over here? They are not ready. Oh, you were the best thing in my life. You are the sunshine of my life. Woo! you guys are playing this waiting game and it is getting dangerous. Do you hear me? I will wait for a sign from you. Listen, somebody better take action here. Okay. Because you guys want each other so bad you can taste it. And yes, look, two of pentacles at the bottom of the deck. This is also the hair font. Your intuition told you what this was and you didn't listen to your intuition. Um, you've been really going through a lot of energy right now, different energies, um, um, Gemini, um, feminines. And I think a lot of this is, you know, I hate to say it, but like a lack of flexibility. You feel like you are the Kings and Queens of flexibility, but there's definitely something here. Um, I don't see third party energy. I, j I don't see that. So I know that I'm, I'm looking at this nine of pentacles. I feel selfishness of, of, of anything. If, if masculines are going to be charged with something, they're going to be charged with not wanting a commitment and not having the balls to tell you, but I don't feel anything else. I really do see a lot of love here. And the bottom line is, is that they're waiting. What difference does it make now? If you love them unconditionally, like you said, feminines, they're waiting patiently. They're not over you and they want to make amends. You don't get no better than that. So like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Now stop playing these games. If it's something different, let me know down there in them comments now. You're in hangman. You're in upside down enlightenment, feminines. You are definitely taking your time as you should. If this person has done something to you, obviously the masculines that has not come out in this reading, then by all means. But I am telling you that this person is definitely ready to make amends. They have beautiful major arcana energy in, in their inner planet. I mean, in their inner planets. I'm talking astro, uh, astro stuff, talking astrology. They definitely have beautiful, all major arcana. Every single one of their cards, even from their previous energy, everything was major arcana. And if they're charged with the, you know, I feel like what you're doing, the crime doesn't match the punishment. But of course, you know, your situations better than what have come out today because this is general energy. So I do feel like you do. You do have a lot of major arcanas as well. You have the moon. You have the chariot. 
you have the high priestess and you also have the hangman. So if you put those energies together, you are the one that hold the cards and kind of need to make the decision. You're holding them back and they're ready to fix things. OK, they're ready to put your love on top. They're OK with saying that they want to make amends and they're not over this. Like, share, subscribe to the Marvelous Tribe. Certainly hope it resonated. I will see you next week. Please look out for the voting. We're going to be voting for August week one. That's going to be coming. Um, everything that you need is below in the description box, and I will see you soon. Bye, Gemini.